uh, for the Thursday morning assemblies this year, what's your most memorable experience during it? Well, to be honest, I was <laughs> never actually there in the assembly. assembly. Okay, really. Even once? Um, I was there for like twice. Okay, and so you like it? Yeah, I, I it's like arranged. I like how that Mr. J actually arranged performance for the student to perform. Yeah, you it's like good. the performance? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, what's your favorite subject this school year, and why? My favorite subject is um, biology because since uh, I actually like science a lot, and this year but it's really fun with the project and stuff. We did a lot of cool experiment rather than I don't, in middle school. It's more like watch PowerPoint and take notes, but in so high like school, biology. yeah. Or you like Miss Linda? <laughs> I think both. Okay, I see. Good afternoon, uh, TCIS. I'm Mr. Ron, and I'm here with a very special guest, Mr. Daniel Chang, or is it Chang? Chang. Chang. It's Chang. All right. And uh, you've got another name that uh, you you're known by here at TCIS. And uh, what what's that name? You want to share it with us? Um, so some people call me Africa. They call you Africa. That, yeah. that that's a bit of a shock. Um, how did you get that name? Because um, before I lived in South Africa, and when I went back to Taiwan, people were like kind of like shocked, like, "Oh, you're from South Africa!" And some people ended up started calling me Africa. Yeah, uh, sh yeah, shocked. Because um, when I look at you, I, I I just don't think of Africa. In fact, <laughs> I probably look in the mirror and I think uh, more of Africa than when I look at you. So that's a little bit ironic. Uh, but but that brings diversity to our school. And uh, I think it's very interesting. And uh, we've seen you at the Thursday morning assemblies. I've even seen you on stage a couple times. What's been your most memorable experience during the Thursday morning assemblies for mm. high school? When I perform guitar, and I'm actually not good at guitar, so it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. But you've pushed yourself, you've learned a new skill, and yeah. now you're on stage actually performing. That That's quite an accomplishment for for, for one year or two years time. Last question. Second to last question. Most memorable moment this year. What was it and why? Mm, when we went to Chiang Mai and we won our first champions in Chiang Mai tournament. I would, I would have to agree with that as well. That was an experience for us. So that's something you, no one can take away from you. You, got, you earned it. You were also, uh, you got an award during that, that tournament. Yeah. What was that award again? Um, MVP. MVP of for the tournament. For, of the tournament. So congratulations once again for earning that award. That's Thank a great you. job. So next is, uh, for, the, for the Thursday morning assemblies mm -hmm. this year, what yes. was your most memorable experience? I enjoyed greatly the company I had at the very back of the... Uh, I always sat with uh, Ms. Divini and there was Ms. Jacoba and all these people are up there and we just... I liked the guitar performances as well, very much so. I thought Mr. J did a great job and all the, and all the performers did a great job. So. Did you see my performance? Probably, yes. Okay. Probably, I guess. I'm sure I did. Uh, yeah. okay. It was good. I, yeah, they're fun. So next is mm -hmm. uh, about the usage of cell phones at school. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is a good idea or not? Why? It's time and a place for everything, I guess. Sometimes, I mean, the problem is not the access to cell phones and having cell phones. It's what the students do with the cell phones. That's the issue. I mean, if people actually focused and did the work, but I mean, People being on nine gag and <laughs> where's where's Annie? Oh, shit. Uh, nine gag doing everything else, worrying about prom dresses and all that kind of stuff, and they should be focused on school stuff. But so you're phones are good. Saying uh, it depends on the people. Cell phones can be good and bad, depend on just how like, you use it. Just like any technology, yeah, for sure. Of course, it can be, but I mean, it's also a part of school is to teach people social roles and what's acceptable and what's not. So it's hard to monitor it, but all in all, it's. If I had a choice, I would say no cell phones, but you could have your computers. Okay, I see. It's not my choice. So, okay. so Mr. Sasha, yes. if you were stuck teaching one subject for the rest of your teaching career, mm -hmm. what would it be and why? 
I would like to teach uh, like the social studies, history, geography. If there was a class that had history, geography, a little bit of sociology in there. What if you can them. only choose one from the social studies? History. 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 That's your favorite one. Yeah, well, if I had to choose one, yeah, you're forcing me, yeah. I'd like to teach history from the Renaissance to today. That's what I want to teach. Memorable moment in this school year. This right here? Oh. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And Joe, about the Thursday morning, uh, Thursday morning assemblies, what do you like the most about it? Uh, I like the most when Mr. John giving some speech because I, I, I think that all of his speech are so friendly and lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it, it sometimes makes my heart so warm. <laughs> I like it. Anyways, it's How long have you been here in TSS? Um, it's going to be my fifth year next year. Fifty? Fifth. Oh, fifth. 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 So, Miss Lina, well, in what ways do you think does, has TSS improved throughout the years you have been here? Um, Software-wise, our one-to-one -one program, I think it's working pretty good, and I'm learning a lot of technology assisting in teaching. Um, so you think the technology is improving the teaching? Definitely. Style. And then school hardware-wise, I have a new lab. Oh, That's the yeah. best improvement Great. ever. Harvest. What does a counselor do? A counselor helps students in a variety of ways. We help with academic concerns, personal, social concerns, and we help to get students ready for university. Mr. Rob, if a student has a problem and go find you, what's your solution? What would you do to him or her? I would like to talk about the issue and find out exactly uh, what's going on. If it's something at school, something at home, and we'll go from there. So, so if you can teach a subject and you can only teach one, you can only choose to teach one. What subject would you teach? For sure, college prep. I really enjoy helping students get ready for university. Yeah, I it's enjoy exciting. your class too. Thank you. Uh, what was your yeah. most memorable experiences? Always my most memorable experiences at the morning assemblies are when I get to see you guys um, playing instruments and performing for us because it's so awesome to see you in another light other than just in the classroom. Okay, thank you. Um, if you were stuck teaching one subject for the rest of your teaching career, what would it be and why? Of course I would teach math forever because math is awesome <laughs> and I love when students who think they hate math secretly deep down learn to love it. <laughs> I hate math. <laughs> You think so, but no, you really love it. Uh, no, I, I really hate math. <laughs> what was your, oh, I mean, uh, you, this is the last question. And how does it feel like to be loved by all the hi male high school students in TCIS? Oh, you didn't tell me that question was coming ahead of time. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> and cut. You're getting red. <laughs> <laughs> You did not tell me this question was coming. Um, well, you guys can chime in any time that this is actually false. And, uh, you know, I just, you guys like math. You don't like me. You like the subject I teach, right? Uh, that's a fact right there. Uh, male high school students. Love uh, you. <laughs> uh, no, that's not real. Okay, thanks, Jerry. It's been fun. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, Ms. Kobe. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> We're good? In what ways have TCIS improved throughout the years you have been here? I think the TCIS facilities improved, like we have a new parking lot and we also have a grass field, not like our old Sahara Desert. Oh, the Sahara Desert. Okay. Do you guys use cell phones at school? Do you guys think it's a good idea to, for the school, for students to use cell phone at school? Why or why not? I think it's a good idea because uh, like sometimes we don't know a word and instead of flipping through a dictionary we can search for the word in Google really fast using our cell phones so it's very convenient. So uh, what is your most memorable moment in this year, this school year? For me it's this year it's uh, 
having sports day with the class of 2017. Uh, yeah. Did you play sports? Yeah. What did you play? Volleyball, basketball, soccer. Oh, how about you, Vicky? Uh, I would say the Chiang Mai trip that I went with the basketball team because it's their first championship and yeah. it was really... And you're the manager of the team? Uh, kind of. <laughs> I guess that's enough for today. Thank you, Doris. Thank you, Vicky. Bye-bye. <laughs>